Okay guys, what's up? This is Crossface. Now normally on Fridays I do my Dungeons and Dragons Club at the high school. Uh, today it was canceled, so and that's um, an anomaly that usually doesn't happen. So today I um, I have an idea. This is something that is going to be more sporadic than the setting creation on Sundays that I'm going to be doing. Um, this is going to be more like uh, sporadic, like I said, but it's going to be us together doing something. Okay, so. Let's create a game. Sorry for my scribbles. My handwriting is not that great, so bear with me. Um, however, let's just let's create a game. So obviously there's a lot of game creation going on with um, the OGL stuff that's been going on and all kinds of different negativity things like that. I don't really want to get into all this negative stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a game. Now we're going to blow through this and where I really want this to be like put some comments in the on the video. And I also I am also on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, please send some comments on the video as well. Like subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. It really helps me realize that maybe I actually have something to offer the world. So anyway, let's get down to it. Goals. I need, I keep turning this. Goals. So for me, my goals are streamlined character creation. I feel like this is a big one, okay? Streamlined character creation. Now what that means is it doesn't have to be minimalistic, but it needs to be quick. It needs to be something that is a well-oiled machine that doesn't take an hour because on the other side of this, it will be deadly, okay? So, streamlined character creation, this is probably deadly, but also but also survivable. I mean, it's not... I, okay, I don't want a meat grinder. Streamlined character creation because I do want death to be able to happen. However, I don't want the game... Just because I said deadly, it doesn't mean that I just want to murder players, okay? Um, scalability, what I mean by that is I want the system to be able to handle low-level gaming, high-level gaming, uh, small one-on-one -on -one combat, one-on-one -on -one gameplay, solo gameplay, uh, and then also mass combat and war gaming as well. So that is a big, hefty mountain to try to climb. Um, but this is something that I feel like if the system can't handle what I just mentioned, then why are we even playing the system? Okay. Uh, compatibility. Now, this is a question mark, so I'm going to put a question mark here on this one. I kind of want it to be able to be compatible with other uh, games. So, you know, if I want to be able to pick up Old Faithful of the Lost Mine of Fandelver... I'd, I would like to be able to use this system to play with the Lost Mine of Fandelver. That would be really cool. So that's a question mark if we're going to be able to pull that off or not. The last goal, the last goal here is uh, a more involved combat, but without becoming a slog. So I feel like these are all reachable and attainable goals. And... I want to be able to to make this happen. The most important ones, I guess, for me would be these two. You can tell that these two were put in as an af afterthought. But like streamline character creation and a, and a involved combat without becoming a slog. So streamline character creation and then I almost like streamlined a combat, okay, that can scale and is also compatible. I feel like this all ties in. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on into it. Attributes. Do we want the attributes to be the traditional strength, dex, con, intelligent, wisdom, charisma? Do we want it to be those six? Maybe. Put a comment. We'll figure it out. On the flip side of that, would we want something as, as minimalistic as physical, mental, spiritual? Or it can be somewhere in between these two. You know, I, I more so do not want to go as minimalistic as these just three. I'm not opposed to keeping the standard six just because kind of compatibility reasons, but I'm also open to mixing it up, you know? Um, 
I've mixed it up. I, I've made games in the past, and and I, I did not use the traditional stats. I'm okay with either one. Something to chew on, comment, figure out what you would like to do there. You know, we can just we're gonna figure it out. Core mechanics. Um, so I don't want there to be just one mechanic for everything. Me personally, I don't like that. However, I do think there needs to be at least one thing that's like similar throughout. Now, would we want it to be like a D100 roll high or D100 roll low? A regular standard D20 system, uh, a, di a dice pool system. Now for me, I don't really want to do this. I'm not a dice pool guy. Um, do we want it to be a D12 roll under system? This is interesting. It could be something, but I'm not as versed in that. I'm more versed in these two. And then also some D6 variations. But a D12 roll under system might work. Say that I have a low stat or a low skill of 3. I got to roll a 1, 2, or 3. If I have a good stat of 10, I got to roll uh, 10 or under. You know, so this is something interesting. Or do we want to roll, do a D6 vari variation? So it could be any 2D6, 3D6, something like that. Um, I've ha I have made games in the past that done stuff like this. I've made games in the past that done stuff like that. I have not done D100. Of, of, I'm very familiar with it. And then I've never done D12. Um, like I said, just give me comments. I don't really know. This is just kind of like a let's do this together kind of thing. Now, the implied genre. I would like the implied genre to say fantasy. Um, I just it's what I'm comfortable with, you know. Uh, now, it could be weird fantasy. It could be pulp fantasy. It could be classic fantasy. All anywhere in between. If we can do it. I just want to do, stay with fantasy. So that means like magic and stuff. You know, I haven't. We, that's another conversation for another time. Is the magic system, but I would like it to be magic and um, warriors. So I would like both of these aspects to be in the game: magic and warriors. Now, health. Do we just do a standard HP system, or do we do something like limb damage? You roll for damaging certain limbs. So then we have armor, and do we have armor health? That can soak up some damage before it breaks. This is, these are all questions to to ask yourself. Not sure. Do we just do a standard AC system, or do we do um, armor reduction? Question mark. We don't really know. Um, now the last thing to really kind of get into. And this may be for a completely different video, but just chew on it. Do we want to do classes? Do we want to do skills? Like I said, chew on this one some other time. We will have to revisit this. But just to recap, to see how I'm, where I'm at. Oh, I'm going up on 10 minutes here on the video. Recap everything. Goals. Streamline character creation. Now this is going to be tied. This is going to be tied into this. So we need to figure out that. And this, I guess, is actually tied into this as well. Not that. That was a bad one. Sorry, guys. Tied into that. Well, I guess it is a little bit tied into the implied genre as well. So, streamlined character creation system. More involved combat without being a slog. Uh, we can figure out the compatibility, scalability at some other time. But the main thing to focus on here, guys, should, what kind of attributes should we do? What is the main dice mechanic we're going to be having? And then, I guess, as a smaller smaller thing, we can do health and armor. Okay? So let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing this sporadically, just throughout the week at random times. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do. But I would really love for a do-it-yourself, let's create a game together kind of thing. And I'll be putting up polls on my Twitter. But I more so want to do this as a YouTube only thing. So if you found me and you like this kind of stuff, I'm really into like do it yourself D D. So let's just do it ourselves. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for sticking with me and my craziness. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.